Hello. I'm coming to you today from the indoor practice facility at Lake Monticello inside our marina. I'm going to talk to you about the proper grip. It's really important that you hold the club correctly and consistently in order to achieve desired ball flight results. Now, I'm a right-handed golfer, so the first hand I'm going to put on is my lead hand or my left hand. I'm going to put my left hand on the club as so I'm going to shake hands with it. I'm going to place the grip here in the base of my fingers. That's, that's going to ensure that I control the club with my fingers and I've got my palm up on top of the club. Next, I'm going to put my right hand on the club. I'm going to start at the end of the grip and place the grip in my fingers and I'm going to slide my hand, my right hand down until it meets the left. I prefer an overlapping grip or the Varden grip in which my right pinky overlaps the index finger of my left hand. It's okay to interlock those two fingers, the interlocking grip, or it's okay to all, have all of the fingers on the club. Do whatever is most important for you but the important part of this grip is making sure that it's in the proper position in your hands. Now once I've sold the club and I'm ready to strike the ball, I can take a look here in this view and I can see that my, my, my club is in the fingers of my left hand and of my right hand by looking at the V's formed by the thumb and first finger. The V on my left hand is pointing up to my right shoulder and the V on my right hand is pointing up to my right shoulder. When I look down, I can see two knuckles here on my left hand. After you've practiced a while and become comfortable at home with putting your hands on correctly, next is being prepared to play a shot. I really like using a box or a two by four as a practice aid. I position this box in line with the target and I've got a golf ball on the other side of the box. So to help get the proper grip, I first start by holding the club out in front of my body so that the leading edge is pointing straight up and down. So we can take a look at this line. There's the leading edge. Next I'm going to place my lead hand or left hand on the club like I'm shaking hands with it, putting the grip in the base of my fingers. Next, I'm going to take my right hand and slide down the, the grip. I'm going to overlap. And then as I get ready to position the club to, to strike the ball, I'm going to first rest it on the top of the box. Now, what I'm going to look for is I'm going to make sure that the leading edge of the club is at right angles to the box. That's going to ensure that I've gripped the club correctly. If this leading edge is not at right angles, I'm going to start again. It is at right angle, so I'm ready to strike the ball. So I'm going to go ahead and move into my address position, get myself comfortable, and then I'm going to swing. Practice the grip, and I'm certain you're going to find much better results with your ball striking. Good luck.